Hello, Matsuka Universe. Uh, I'm at one of the worst weeks in soccer in ages, especially when I take into account my expectations ahead of this week. Boy, 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 boy. It doesn't look good, and tomorrow is still another game. Um, and it doesn't help, you know. The Liverpool win of yesterday, I was happy about it. Uh, but that doesn't help. I think what got me a little bit more out of it is that in the NHL, the My Carolina Hurricanes end the longest NHL playoff drought and make it into the playoffs, but that's of course not soccer related. When I look at um, Milan, absolutely a horrid showing at Sampdoria last weekend against Udine. Uh, I don't want to say throwing away a win, but it's definitely not taken serious. Lusk, despite dominating Rapid in the Cup semi-final, uh, being eliminated on penalties. And yeah, continues today. Uh, I first saw a little bit of uh, Real Madrid playing Eibar, uh, where Eibar actually had a 1-0 lead at halftime, which was thoroughly deserved. But then Bonzema makes, makes two goals. The funny thing is, um, it was 1-1 when I switched in the 79th minute, in the 80th. 80th, I think, uh, Bonzema made his uh, second goal. But yeah, it was Juve Milan time, and I said I'm not, I'm not having any expectations because Milan wasn't playing well. And I also told my wife I'm gonna depress myself now for um, two hours because yeah, I want to see Juve Milan. It's a great game, uh, but I didn't expect much from it, especially the way Milan has been playing as a player. And then I was surprised already in the first minute, Piontek should have made it 1-0 and Milan really played well, despite not having um, Paqueta, who is unfortunately out. Despite uh, Reina playing a goal, a goalkeeper where I honestly, I have a bad feeling every time he touches the freeing ball. Or oh, it's going, going, going close, although he had a nice save in there and it was definitely not down to him. Uh, the game, uh, the way the game went. Um, it was a great start to the game, then it got kind of boring for a while. Uh, typically Italian, a lot of small fouls, da -da. and then Milan actually played well and got themselves in, in into the game. Should have gotten a penalty. I don't know. The referee looks at it, the ball touches the hand. Uh, there have been much, for much less penalties have, have been given. It's again Juventus. Uh, in the Juventus stadium, you can you cannot give any penalties against Juventus. Uh, no, nah, I'm not gonna say it now. Uh, <laughs> not gonna get into too much trouble. But made me absolutely furious. Fortunately, a little bit later, uh, great four check um, by Milan playing out. Ball comes to I think it was Bakayoko. Ball comes to uh, Piontek and Piontek slots it home. We have again. We have our. Goal, 21st of the season, in the season of leading Serie A and 1-0 at the halftime. Juve had a pretty good chance of a uh, glorious one by Mandzukic, but overall this was a thoroughly deserved lead for Milan and it looked actually quite well. Uh, you gotta say there was Emre Can, got out injured, there was no Ronaldo playing of course, there was no Moise Ken playing, uh, Pjanic was not playing, so it was not the first string Juve squad, but I said okay, I know they're gonna look at a Champions League. Um, you gotta make, you gotta use your chance here, especially if you played decent. I have to say it was a, it was a good game, and the game actually got better in the second half. Um, with I think for the first 15 minutes, Milan again getting the better of it, and with some luck, you would have made it to nil. Um, but then you make an absolutely Musacchio in the box, absolute stupid foul where it was not necessary. I think it was on Dybala. I uh, it's a penalty that Dybala slams down the middle, I mean, that far from Pepe Arena's foot, and it is 1-1. Okay, settle off, maybe can salvage a draw here. Uh, there was even more in there than a draw. There was a free kick by Cialanoglu, there was a good chance by Borini, um, although Borini bugged me today. Uh, even when Castillejo came in, there was he just came in for Suso, and he was clearly held, held back in the, in the box. For me, this is a penalty. 
this is a, a clear foul. You hold him back. If this is on the mid uh, 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 midfield, no one is a thing. Well, yeah, that's a clear foul. Why is this not a penalty? Absolutely furious about that one. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Milan players were not that furious with that. But it really seemed like Milan still, I don't want to say controlled the game, but they were in the game. But then Moise King came in and you could, I had already uh, kind of this foreboding. Yeah, he's going to make this goal. Well, they say that he is a Milan fan. Huh? Doesn't care. He, he is a professional uh, all around and he's in great form. That's the most important. But yeah, there were chances were there for Milan to get a goal, uh, another goal to uh, to get the draw out of there. But now, poorly played out pass uh, comes back. Uh, Pjanic, right there, it is Kane and Bernadeschi. Uh, Moise Kane gets it and slots it home 2 1 in the 84th. I'm gutted, absolutely gutted. And then there was not much coming anymore from Milan, although they were trying at least. <sighs> if Inter doesn't beat them tomorrow, Atalanta, Milan is out of the Champions League spots. That's all that needs to be said there. Uh, and, and, uh, I'm gutted. I'm absolutely gutted because, you know, I didn't expect much. I expected a loss. But the game actually gave me lots of reason to believe that there's a win in uh, or there is maybe a win, maybe a, at least a point in there. But there wasn't. So yeah, um, really not, really disappointed about that one. Uh, it was not. I think a draw would have been a deserved result. You were the second half of the. It was a really great game. I was sitting in my uh, on my seat uh, completely. Uh, how do I say, enthralled in the game. And, but it was kind of inevitable was going to happen. Um, I did not watch it. I saw the highlights between Bayern and Dortmund. Dortmund in sixth minute hits the post wide open net. Could make it 1-0. Right around that, Hummels makes it 1-0 for Bayern off a corner kick and then Dortmund just falls apart. Uh, Bayern really nasty. Lewandowski just a few minutes later makes the 2 0. So after 70 minutes, it's 2 0 for Bayern. Javi Matiz in 41st, 3 0, 43rd, Gnabry, 4 0, and then just before 5 0. I was hoping for a draw. Was close. <laughs> I actually think if Dortmund would have made that first goal, if they would have made that, I think that the game would have gone slightly differently. Still not saying the band wouldn't have won it, but it would not have been such a thrashing. So in Germany, I think Bayern it's just a point, but they have goal differential, so it's basically two points, more or less two points ahead. And yeah, I think Bayern will win this. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, I saw that Ajax won for one at Willem Tve Tilburg. Uh, I think PSV won yesterday, so um, that. What was PSV? No, 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 no. PSV is still playing. They played Vitesse on him. So, yeah, Vitesse. <laughs> At the moment, Ajax is in first place. So, yes, I'm hoping. But, you know, I'm actually looking forward to Ajax against Juventus. Um, in England, I saw that in the FA Cup, Manchester City won only 1 0 against Brighton. To make it to the final, uh, I think in the fourth minute, Gabriel Jesus haven't seen the highlights yet. Um, we'll talk about the other Premier League. I think there were not any big Premier League games today uh, to talk about. Nah, it was kind of a quiet, quiet day. So um, there was a interesting result in uh, France again. Dijon beating Lyon away. 3-1 and also Saint Etienne only making a 2-2 against Anya. Uh, so yeah, uh, France is interesting, but that comes all in my round. Of what we want to talk about is why I'm wearing this jersey. Yeah, there the expectation was met, but also a great game was kind of ruined if I'm talking Barcelona against Atletico Madrid, um, which probably was the second biggest game today. Uh, I think Bayern Rock Dortmund was bigger. Um, but not more exciting. This was a really exciting game uh, because Atletico Madrid didn't um, park the bus. They actually were in the game. 
Um, Arsenal should have taken early lead through Jordi Alba. Um, got a wonderful pass by Messi, controlled it nicely, put it on goal. Um, no, didn't put it on goal, hit the post. But Atletico Madrid was actually quite in the game. It was an open game uh, with chances on both sides. I think Griezmann had one, was not the great chance. I mean, it was not that Atletico Madrid had huge chances, but they were well in the game and were threatening. And uh, Barcelona had trouble going for that one. Um, but then Diego Costa needs to insult the referee. Yes, he should have gotten a foul there. Don't insult the referee. Don't sip up the madre or whatever he says to us, the referee. Uh, get sent off. Kills an absolutely great game. Um, and I actually say, I have to say for the rest of the half, it was not quite killed yet because the game was still, you know, uh, I think Simeone couldn't make too many adjustments at that point yet. So the game was still kind of open. But the longer the game went, the more Barcelona took control of the game. And yes, I am. I want Barcelona generally to win La Liga. I want them to win the Champions League. Although, if at the moment I, I went through the teams that are in the Champions League, I think they would only be my number two team this time around. Uh, number one, of course, is Utopic, is Ajax. And I'm still not sure. As much as I don't want Juve to win uh, the Serie A any, any, anymore, which they will, I think they will deserve to win the Champions League. Meanwhile, on the other side, I have not decided what um, the positive would be Juve winning the Champions League, the negative would be Ronaldo winning a fourth one in a row. I'm not sure if I can uh, really go for that one. Um, I'm saying it right now. Um, at this moment, I, I think Barcelona would be my second favorite to win the Champions League, just because to have some uh, justice between Messi and Ronaldo in terms of Champions League titles. But back to the game. Um, it became then the Barcelona attack against Jan Oblak show. Uh, in the first half, a really huge chance by Coutinho, which was badly mishit. I gotta say, um, he has to make that goal as well. So, I mean, the big chances were soundly with Barcelona. And in the second half, the pressure started, started the building. And um, it was actually Malcolm who came off and Arthur that were then things really got tight for Atletico Madrid. Uh, they had their occasional uh, free kicks and corner kicks uh, where you just got to make more out of it. I mean, uh, there was one, I think, where it was head, 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 head away for, uh, in front of Jimenez who would have had a clear shot, a clear head on goal, probably would have buried it and made it 1-0 Atletico Madrid. Um, I somehow would have liked to see that because uh, that would have made the game really interesting, I think, uh, if Atletico Madrid uh, gets the win. I really thought today, even if Atletico Madrid would, would win, it's five points um, but, and you have the direct uh, comparison, but I still would have said that Barcelona will win the league. But uh, of course, now with um, 11 points, it's way more confident. It's actually 12 because direct... Uh, the head-to-head -head wins it for Barcelona as well, so it's actually 12. Uh, Atletico would need, need, need to make 12 points. It's not official done yet, but I think we can handle the Liga to Barcelona quite safely. So, But yeah, took a long time, and then um, with Oblak in a personal duel against uh, Messi, Suarez, and whoever, there was a huge chance by Suarez where he, uh, he went on goal. Uh, Taken by Messi, uh, you know, great pass by Messi in. Suari free shot that is taken by Oblak. And I, when I look at the re replay, even if he would, if it would have made it past Oblak, I don't think it, it, it would have gone in. But then, I think at 85th or something like that, he takes a great shot from outside the box. Yeah, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 85th, bursts it in the corner. Uh, one nil for Barca. Everyone knew the game is done. One minute later, Messi does what Messi does. He's not offside, has the ball on his feet, um, gets it in, stumbles, loses the ball, gets it back, makes a pirouette around his own exit, uh, axis and slots it home. 2 nil, game done and that's it. Barcelona Campeones. That's all I can say. 
fully deserved. They are the best team in La Liga this year, uh, so there are no complaints from me on that side as well. Uh, but it's the Champions League where we have to judge Barcelona on, as we have to judge Juventus on, and the more I think about it, probably we have to also judge Man City on that, but the more I think, 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 think about it, uh, Juventus-Barcelona final would probably, just by the names, the greatest thing to see. Uh, probably closely followed by a City against Barcelona final. That could also be intriguing. Um, for romantics, Ajax Barcelona. Or Ajax Liverpool. Oh, that would that also would be a that, that that would be a great final. Anyway. So yeah, uh the Barcelona win, as you can say, I'm not too enthusiastic about it. Uh kind of you know, it's kind of an also ran and the negative daggers I've been taking this week. And tomorrow Salzburg plays Lask, and that's basically I'm not saying uh, Hard, 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 I'll say. Lask is four points behind. If they win against Salzburg, they might challenge, might challenge for the title, which they actually have no business, uh, but because the points were cut in half. Uh, the, they had more business going to the cup final, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I honestly don't expect many good things for tomorrow. The week has been that abysmal. If Lask wins tomorrow, it will salvage my week. Uh, big time, but you know, it will be another title this season, as far as I'm concerned. But who knows? I'm a little bit down. I think I'm more down about Milan because there was a real chance that they could wrap up. Uh, they were quite comfortable in this Champions League spot, and now it really seems to be all falling apart. Roma got a win at Sampdoria, so they are creeping closer, and it's all in the Atalanta tomorrow that may or may not decide who's gonna go forward. Well, I hope. Whatever you watched, it went better for you. You feel much better. Um, it's, I will talk about all the other games in a bigger roundup. I want to just tell you what I watched and how my feeling is on those games. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, despite all the negativity coming from me. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And yes, I'm going to make another Jersey video um, that will hopefully post uh, by tomorrow evening. And up until then. Bye. Talk to you soon. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.